Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And I know, I know, Joe Biden, he, he gives you scares every time he gives a speech. But this one, well, this one's a little different and it caught a lot of attention. And I think it's kind of dangerous. We're going to take a look at it today. But folks, before we get started, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow and spread the conservative message to people who may not otherwise get it. So last week, a few days ago actually, Joe Biden was giving a speech on gun control. And you know, he said all the requisite things you'd expect him to say at a Democrat get together about guns. You know, they're evil, they're coming to get you. You know, watch out for them. We're gonna do something about them even though they never, never do. But this speech was different. And what was different about it was how it ended. See. And it gets worse. If you've seen the clip, you haven't seen all of it probably. It actually gets worse after this. He ends the speech with God save the queen. Actually, he says God save the queen man, which is not really the most respectful way to say God save the queen, but here we are. Except there's one problem. The queen's been dead since September 8th, 2022. And he was in Connecticut, not England. So what the queen had to do with any of this speech, was she shot? Did the queen get killed by being shot? No. No, she died of old age. So God save the queen does not make sense here. The current saying is God save the king, but even then you'd save it for when you're in England. Why would you say that in Connecticut? It doesn't even make any sense. But it actually gets worse after that. I want you to take a look at it. All right. God save the queen, man. So you could see there, he didn't know what side of the stage to get off on, which is really frightening. We've seen this before from him. And then somebody had to come on stage to help him off. And then he does the fake jog. You know the fake jog where you pretend like you're still young and spry, but really you're old and decrepit? He does the fake jog off stage. It, it was pathetic and sad. It was pathetic and sad, folks. I, I don't know. I don't know, you know what more can be said, what more can be done about this. It, it's, it's terrifying to think that people are still voting for this nonsense and that they're going to vote for it in 2024. There's a large portion of Democrats that are going to vote to keep this, to keep this, that they hate Trump so much that they are going to vote for a man who I think to the naked eye is absolutely incapable of performing the duties of president of the United States. That's how I, that's what I think. That's my opinion. I want to know your guys' opinion, so please leave that in the comments. Also, please remember to like, comment, and absolutely share this so people see it. We need people to see it. Remember, we love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.